She'd be like Jackie, stoic in her widowhood, even though Dory was already an old man when he died in his sleep after a terrible illness. It was a blessing and not a national tragedy like the murder of a president right on TV. I don't know if I could have written Into the Wilderness in Manhattan. Uh, I was writing essays for Vermont Magazine. And the editor said, you have such a good voice of once New York, now Vermont. When I was living in New York City, I had a one-bedroom apartment. And as I wanted to write more, I found myself not just retreating to my apartment and closing the door, but then retreating into my bedroom and closing the door. And I knew that I needed less city stimulation. I came to Vermont for the summer of 1984. I wrote a novel, and I decided to stay, um, just as my character only comes for two weeks, and she resists that, too. The genesis for Into the Wilderness was discovering that it was hard to be a Jew in isolation. In New York, I was surrounded by Jews, and in Vermont, I was a novelty. Having come from New York, it gives me a way of looking at the country a little differently. I can see what, what's good about the country, and I can see what's good about the city. I walk anywhere from four to six miles on a daily basis. I have a dog who walks with me, and if I, if I work too long at my desk, she lets me know it's time to go walking. While I'm walking, I hear what my characters have to say to each other. I hear their voices. I can solve the architecture of an essay during a walk. I know exactly where I heard Rose tell me should be like Jackie, which is the first sentence of Into the Wilderness. I always wanted to keep chickens ever since reading, I think it was a Louisa May Alcott book. I love going out and getting the eggs before they freeze. I do not love shoveling, and there's always a lot of shoveling to do when it snows. There's something about moving to Vermont felt like moving home to me. It felt like this is the place I'm supposed to be. One of my favorite things about Vermont is the winter. Walking uphill in snowshoes is about the best way to get warm in the winter that I know. I love the cold, I love the snow. I chop wood, we bring wood in, I feed the fire. The snow and the cold change the landscape. There comes a time in the winter when I can walk across water. I go down to the river and it's frozen, but even in the deepest cold, you can still hear the water rushing underground. And that gives me incredible hope. Rose was halfway through her fourth box of candles when she surprised her son one Sunday morning after they'd both had enough time to read the Week in Review so they could argue about the news. But they didn't argue that Sunday because after Rose said hello, she said, Manny, I'm coming to Vermont.